Hello everyone, this is Dr. Vishal Trivedi from Department of Biosciences and Bioengineering IIT Guwahati and in the course Enzyme Science and Technology, we are going to discuss different aspects of the enzymes. So why there is a need to discuss about the enzymes? So enzymes are uh, very crucial molecules in terms of the uh, metabolisms, in terms of the different aspects of the applications of the uh, biotechnology and as well as they are also work in terms of curing the disease as well. So what you see here is that enzymes are actually going to play a very crucial role in terms of the different aspects and the different applications of the biotechnology. Apart from that, the enzymes are also going to be a source of drug. Uh, whether it is an uh, inhibitor what you are going to develop against the enzymes or whether the enzyme itself could be uh, medicines for curing the deficiencies in the different types of genetically associated diseases. And that is why it is important that we should study the enzymes so that you can be able to exploit these enzymes for curing the disease, for taking care of the environment and as well as you can actually be able to exploit these uh, enzymes for other kind of industrial applications. So the course uh, enzyme science and technology is being divided into the 12 modules and in the 12 modules I have tried that we should talk about the theory of the particular uh, aspects or particular topic. And then we also should followed by the experimental details, how you can be able to, uh, you know, perform the particular type of experiments or how you can be able to perform the uh, enzyme assays and other kinds of stuff. And then we also have tried that we should actually be able to show you more and more demo so that you can be able to have the virtual hands on experiences. So the course is outlined in such a way that you will start from the very crude information about the assay itself. Like, so for example, if you have identified the activity which degrades, for example, if you identified an in, uh, activity which actually degrades the environmental hazard like the DTT. Now you only know about this activity, you do not know what is the source of this activity and so on. So how you can be able to identify the enzyme. So that will be the first aspects what we are going to discuss in this particular course. Apart from that, sometime you also may have a DNA fragment which you are know that this could be actually be potentially be responsible for coding in a particular uh, enzyme or something. So that also can be discussed while you are doing the identification one. Once you have identified a particular enzyme, then what you can actually do is, you know, the, you want to utilize this enzyme for this particular type of applications, you have to the, produce this enzyme in a large quantity. If you want to produce the enzyme, you have to clone this enzyme, you have to overexpress this enzyme and then you also have to purify this enzyme in the large quantities. Apart from that, when you have the purified enzyme, you can also be interested to do many kind of experiments or many kind of characterization. So one of the characterization is that you want to do the structural characterizations. So in the structural characterizations, what we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss about the molecular modeling in case the enzyme is utilized in the other kind of structural studies technique like the X-ray or uh, NMR spectroscopy. So we are going to talk about the molecular modeling, we are going to talk about the X-ray and then we also going to talk about the NMR spectroscopy. Uh, either of these uh, techniques are very, very big. So we are not going to talk about the technique in detail. Uh, once you are done with structural characterizations, we are also going to further do the you know other kinds of biochemical characterizations where we actually we are going to talk about how you can be able to develop the assay of this enzyme, how you can be able to study the um, interaction of this enzyme with the substrate and so on. And then uh, once you are done with the characterizations, then we are also going to discuss about the enzyme kinetics, how the enzyme is interacting with the substrates and how what are the different kinetic intermediates are present in that particular thing. And then once you are done with that, then we are actually going to talk about the how you can be able to develop the inhibitors. So within the inhibitor development, we are going to talk about how people were doing the inhibitor development when they were using the traditional approach or we can also going to talk about the computational approach. Okay? And we are also going to talk about the uh, high to approach screening uh, of the inhibitor for developing this inhibitor as a drug like molecules. 
apart from the inhibitor designing we are also going to talk about the inhibition kinetics so that you can be able to understand the mode of the inhibitions you can also talk about whether the inhibition is reversible or the irreversible and then so on once you are done with all these then at the end we are also going to discuss about the application of the enzymes in the different fields so we are going to talk about how you can be able to utilize these inhibitors for inhibiting a particular enzyme and that's how you are actually going to develop a cure for example recently there was a covid pandemic so people were trying to develop the different types of inhibitors from the different sources so that they can be able to inhibit the application of this virus inside the human body uh, apart from that we can also talk about how the enzymes can actually be able to play a role in terms of the detoxifying some of the metabolites what are present in the environment then we are also going to talk about how the enzymes are also going to be a source of medicines because in some of the uh, genetically deficient people you do not have the sufficient quantity of that particular enzyme so that also can be discussed when we are talking about the applications who are going to be benefited from this course so undergraduate as well as the postgraduate students are always having the enzymology as the core course so they will actually be going to be get benefited from this particular course apart from that the phd students are always been uh, you know utilizing the enzyme or the protein for their uh, you know experimental work so that also they are also going to get benefited by uh, you know by listening or by uh, you know taking care of all the different aspect what we are discussing in this particular course uh, how the evaluation is going to happen so we are going to give you the assignments every week which means we are going to give you the 12 assignments within each assignments we are going to provide you the multiple choice questions and these multiple choice questions uh, you have to submit every week and at the end of the course we are going to have the anthem exam so it is also going to be the multiple choice questions and that actually is going to cover the assignments and as well as the theory and as well as the practical questions from the course so uh, i hope that the MOOCs course enzyme science and technology would be very good for you to understand the different aspects related to enzymes and it will help you in terms of the uh, advancing your work also. Thank you. Mm -hmm.